Jack had married the patient and smart Helen Northup. The research group, including Helen, would have a great time struggling through the rest of the 1930s. Despite Molina's consistent efforts to receive funding for their tests, the Caltech faculty was not convinced. By day, the Gausset Research Group readied themselves for the approaching hour they would first test their rocket propulsion system. Taking the role of group leader, Molina proceeded methodically as he set two goals to be met. First, he would prepare a program of work whose objective was the design of a high-altitude sounding rocket engine. The second goal was to conduct experiments of liquid and solid propelled rocket engines to determine the problems to be met in making accurate static tests. Molina had designed an apparatus to test the downward thrust or propulsion of their rocket motor engine. Foreman would engineer the casings and valves and Parsons would develop and create the liquid slow burning fuel needed. As Frank Molina noted, Parsons and Foreman were none too pleased with a program that did not include the launching, at least, of model rockets. However, Molina's apparatus would signal the beginnings of rocket propulsion. By night, Frank Molina and Jack Parsons were writing a screenplay in hopes of selling it for some funds to continue the experiment. Helen would make the crew sandwiches before a long day. With Ed, they were all complimentary friends who enjoyed challenging and embracing each other's views on just about anything under the stars. As many devoted intellectuals in towns and cities around the world and the United States in the 1930s, the research group relished drinking, debating, and dreaming. Like many others, they would later be questioned and scrutinized for views they freely discussed on nights like these at the Parsons household.